Oh, you love to play. Oh, you love to play. Don't your comments won't relate. Sign it on my page for you. Oh, my God, he changed. Young life, I can't see back on my. I just need some brains so I could keep myself in order. Hey, you guys, I'm going to make this a short story, um, like short stories. It's a couple uh, I can't talk. It's two short stories, basically, because these are like the spooky stories, and we're in October. So make that make sense. You know what I'm saying? Y'all y'all feel me? So, And they're really, really short. So it doesn't make sense for me to, like, put these by themselves. So I'm going to put them together, like the short stories like I did before, like, spooky instances like i did with like the college stories and i did with something else i don't remember oh the church ladies so yeah i'm gonna do it like that so bear with me and i hope you enjoy the spooky stories he got problems she got problems only i got 411 problems say hey, hi what's up y'all it's time for another story time and yes we are in october and i just realized because i record my stories early so it was already scheduled like we were already in october actually we were finishing out october and going into november and i was like it's october you don't have no scary stories because i have no plans to do vlogmas so not vlogmas vlogtober i have no plans to do vlogtober this year because i did it two years in a row and i wasn't doing it this year so this story is going to be quick really really quick so this one is called Seems like there was more people on there. If y'all hear a noise in the back, that is, my coworker left her fan on, so, yeah. I don't know. Anyway, I don't know where we were coming from or where we were going, but it was around, it was getting, it was around Halloween time, if I'm not mistaken. It was around Halloween time and all of us was on the van, so I don't know where we were, I think we were coming from an event. I think we're coming from the event. But anyway, so they, um, Bootlicker, was started telling us the story. Like, he was like, hey, have y'all ever been to the Ghost Bridge? And I was like, no. And so Gifted was like, no, and I don't want to go. And I was like, I'm down. And so Celebrity Kid and Drums, they were down too. It was more people on there. I just don't remember who all was on there. But it was more people on there. So everybody else was down except gifted <laughs> except gifted gifted did not want to do it she was like no i do not want to go so um but you were outnumbered because everybody else wanted to go and so she kind of caught me a look because it was like like girl why didn't you stand with me even if i stood with you love we are still outnumbered and they were going anyway because during this time like you know if you're not spiritually in tune or you don't have spirit you know like discernment like you don't realize like that stuff really mess with you you know what i'm saying like you don't leave it there like we don't you don't know so anyway so bootlicker was telling us like the story and how it had come about it and how it was supposed to be like this haunted bridge and then when you go there like certain things are supposed to happen right and so um and so, like, we was like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, we cool, yeah, yeah, let's yeah, cool, let's go, let's go, let's go. Like, basically, like, we were down to call a bluff. Anyway, we were, basically, was, like, calling a bluff. When you young, it's like, you think you invisible. So, we was literally calling his bluff. We was like, yeah, 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 let's go, let's go, right? <laughs> so, Gifted was like, no, I do not want to go, please, like, take me home first. And so, Bootlicker was like, where the bridge is, like, that doesn't make sense. That I would be completely going out of the way. And he was like, and you're outnumbered. Everybody wants to go. Which was true. She was outnumbered. And that's the thing. When you ride with people and you don't have your own vehicle, you don't call no shots. You got you to go with the flow with whoever is driving or the majority of the crew, unfortunately. Right? So, 
<clears throat> excuse me so we're ending up going to this like we're on our way headed to the spooky bridge to the ghost bridge and when i tell y'all like this is a place like i had never seen before and i had been living there for a good maybe year maybe two years i had been living there for a while and had never seen this place before had never heard of this place and the further we got in there the further the further we got in there y'all it was spooky like literally it looked literally just like a scary movie it was horrible like the fall got thicker the roads were getting smaller and narrower it was dark like dark dark there's no street lights the only lights you were seeing was the lights from the van so literally we're heading there and so gifted is looking at me like and i was like girl even if i sided with you we're outnumbered like everybody wanted to go except you so at this time like it wasn't that i wasn't i want to say spiritually in tune i'm just like to call the bluff because a lot of times people like to play with that or people you know really be like oh this happens and then you get there and nothing happens right <laughs> so we are driving and we finally get to the bridge so he stops before he goes on the bridge out there is no sides it's just literally like it literally looked like a bunch of boards literally like this big and you drive on it and you stop you turn your car completely off and the what do you call it what's the word for it is it wise man's tail old man old man tail what's the word for it urban legend and the urban legend for it is, is like you turn your car you turn your car completely off um you you like once you get on the bridge you turn your car completely off you sit still and it's supposed to move by itself like it's supposed the car is supposed to completely move off the bridge by itself right so before we got on the bridge right he stops and we're looking at the bridge and it was like this van is huge. Like, you, it's like, is this bridge going to hold us? This van is huge. And it's like quite a few of us in here. And looking at the bridge, like, there's no sides. It's fog everywhere. No sides. Fog everywhere. And it's like, maybe this wasn't a good idea. Like, literally, like, we kind of, we quiet. So, he looking, he looking in the rearview mirror like, y'all still want to go or do i need to turn around there's nobody around us the only lights is the lights from the van you can see the bridge, like the fog is moving like literally like in the scary movies like real talk it's literally moving like in the scary movies and it's like what the like it it was it was eerie so he looked he's like okay i'm gonna ask y'all again Y'all sure y'all want to do this? So, drum celebrity kid. Yeah, yeah. Like, everybody else is like, yeah, let's do this. So, another girl, I don't remember who it was, and I don't want to call her name because I don't want to put the wrong person in the story, but I know it was a girl. It, like I said, it was more of us in the van. So, the girl, once we got to the location, changed her mind. She was like, no. Let's go. Gifted was like, this is a bad idea. We need to get out of here. So, I'm not saying nothing. I'm just there. Because, again, I don't want to be, oh, you should have said, I've never been at, like, I just, I don't want to be held accountable for nothing. So, I'm literally not saying nothing. Like, I'm just chilling. I'm just minding my business. So, drum celebrity kid, they're like, man, yeah, yeah, come on. Like, we already here. How we going to turn around? Look at this big ass van. How we going to turn around? How we going to turn around? Y'all, because the, the road, I promise you, was narrow. It really was narrow. It was like a one-way bridge. So, basically, like, Beetlejuice. You know, like, the the bridge, like, it had, like, a house on it, and only one person could go through at a time, so you had to wait for people to go. That's literally how the bridge was. It was literally, like, this little-ass, <laughs> this little-ass bridge. So, 
we um he he was like so what y'all want to do what y'all want to do so the girl was like let's go gifted was like let's go i said nothing the boys was like yeah 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 let's go let's go and it was other people on there so literally it was still like they were outnumbered so bootlicker cranks up the van and eases on the bridge you ease on the bridge you turn the you turn the van off and we're sitting there in silence a good two minutes, something on the side of the van said, and it wasn't that light. It was like a, like that. And Gifted did a big sign, just like that. And so everybody looked, and they was like, man, quit playing, quit playing. So Celebrity Kid was like, man, to drums, quit playing. So drums was like, I ain't do that. So Celebrity Kid was like, man, quit playing. He did that. He did that. And so, Joe's like, okay, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. And so, Gifted was like, we got to get out of here. We got to get out of here. So, we sitting there. We still sitting there. We waiting. Y'all, the fog started getting thicker and started coming towards the van. So, when they saw the fog coming towards the van... Celebrity kid and drums was like, hey, let's get out. Let's get out of here. Now, mind you, I honestly don't think that it was something supernatural because we it was already thick fog. And then if we're on the bridge, I'm assuming like it's water. And so like the, the more condensation, that's what I'm assuming. But it did get thicker. Like, it did get thicker. So, Bootlicker started laughing. So, he was like, y'all show sure y'all ready to leave? Y'all show sure y'all ready to leave? And so, he was like, um, the last time y'all show sure y'all ready to leave? So, he was like, nah, nah, okay, nah. Nah, let's wait, let's wait, let's wait. So, we sat there still for a good little minute. The fog was got thicker. It got around us. And then, you heard. So, celebrity drums was like, celebrity kid, quit playing. He was like, no, real talk, that was not me. Drums was like, that wasn't me. So Bootlicker was like, man, y'all stop playing. They was like, no, that wasn't me. Y'all, happen again. Gifted said, get me out of here. He cranked up the van, tried to start the van. Van wouldn't crank. She was like, Bootlicker, quit playing. He was like, I'm not playing. <laughs> He said, I'm not playing. Try to start the van. Van wouldn't crank. He was, she was like, man, listen, if you don't get, he was like, I'm not playing. It won't crank. Everybody quiet. So Gifted was like, Lord, if you just get us out of here. <laughs> it's not funny. But she was like, if you just get us out of here. After she said that, Bootlicker tried again in the van crank. And I was like, man, why are you playing? He was like, no, I really wasn't playing. Like, I really, like, the, the van wouldn't crank. Like, and we, like, left. So, it was like, once we started leaving, the fog started getting, like, thinner. It started getting thinner. And then, of course, like, we getting back to, like, like, we getting back to the road. And so, when we going to park the van, because... I don't, again, I don't know where we was coming from. We had to park the van because you had to take the van back to the church. So, we go to park the van. Um, a gift that was like, girl, why didn't you say anything? Like, he would have listened to you. I said, girl, we was outnumbered. We were outnumbered. There was nothing that I could say to, seem, you know, to change these people's mind. We were outnumbered. So, Bulika was like, I was like, Bulika, like, quit playing. Why you ain't, you know, why didn't you just start the van? He was like, no, seriously. I couldn't start the van. And that is the story time of the Ghost Bridge. Back to October Spookies. Yes. So listen, because we're in October and I just realized like it's only two stories that's really kind of spooky-ish. And I just realized we were literally on our way to... November 
because I schedule ahead of time. Okay, so yes, the title is Dead Body Behind the Church. Okay, so if you pay attention to my vlogs, you pay attention to my story times, you know my childhood home, I live across the street from a church. The church was not African American, it was a Caucasian church. The Caucasian church, like the pastors who were there, except the first pastor, the first pastor essayed me and two other girls. Um, the second pastor, I want to make sure I'm saying it right. I think the second pastor was really cool. Yes. The second pastor was really cool because it took them a long time to get a pastor and they finally got one. So the second pastor was really cool. And then the third pastor, he was standoffish. Like he, he was racist. Um, he was racist. I don't know the pastor now. Again, I don't, we don't even have the child home. So I don't know anything about the situation. Anyway, so there is behind the church. Well, on the side of the church, across the street from my, um, from my house. There's a road. There's a road. There's a dirt road. And the dirt road, it it goes different places. Like, it can take you to the other side of town. Or it can take you to different places. One, if I'm not mistaken, takes you to the river. And then another one is not really developed or fully finished as far as, like, a dirt road. And you don't want to be back there. Right? Right? So, we, um, of course, again, we used to play behind the church. We used to play on the basketball court, and they had swings. So, we used to play back there. They also had a cemetery back there, like, for um, their people. They had a cemetery back there. So, we, like, people used to drive back and forth in there. We used to walk through there to um pick berries because again i'm a country girl so we could pick black berries we would pick blueberries we knew a certain time of the year where you would pick the berries where you would pick berries right so sometimes like we would walk a certain you know a certain amount to pick the berries we there's also alligators back there <laughs> in certain areas so literally i wasn't supposed to go any further like it was a certain mark where i couldn't go any further right okay so there was this one particular lady in the neighborhood um i'm gonna call her runner because she ran she jogged she was very nice very nice she would speak very very sweet lady very sweet lady. So anytime that like, we would be out or whatever, she would speak to she would speak to us, or we would speak to her, and she would run um, down the dirt road to like that was her jogging trail, so to speak. Like it was like she did road, then the dirt was, and then she did dirt. Runners can explain it more. Like it's it's supposed to be a difference with the traction and to help as far as building muscle and building your endurance unsure i i didn't get i didn't do distance and track i sprint so i can't tell you like the difference anyway but she that was like her routine that was her jogging thing like so she would do that so anyway this one particular morning like all of a sudden like all you heard was woo, woo, woo. like it was just police everywhere it was police everywhere across the street and so i'm looking out the window <laughs> I'm looking out the window and I'm trying to understand like I'm trying to figure out like what's going on so of course because my mom like we live right across the street from the excitement people are calling her phone and trying to find out like what's going on like the phone is ringing off the hook so the police is there policing it and then they came and they knocked on the door and so when they knocked on the door, like my mom answered it. So I would, you know, like back in those times, we were told like get out of grown folks' conversation. So you, in order to hear, you had to like kind of manipulate and pretend you was doing something else, but you was really listening. <laughs> so I had to pretend like I'm downstairs, like I'm kind of, you know, trying to figure it out. Like I'm standing by my door where she can't really see me because I'm trying to hear because my room was downstairs. So I'm standing by my door like I'm trying to hear what the officer is saying. So the officer was like, hey, oh, I could call my mom's name. He's like, hey, Janie, because again, my mom was a 
During this time, was she a cop already? I think she was. Maybe she wasn't. Even if she wasn't, she was well known. Because, like, there are three. Yes. Three big families in my county. Was it three or four? Three. Three. Three big families um, in my county. So, yeah, she was kind of well known because of my grandfather. And um, my grandfather's last name. So, our, our family was one of the big families in my county. Uh, in my hometown. So, it was like, hey, Janie, um, this is what's happening. This is what's going on. Basically, he was like, we found a body over, you know, on the on the road like so have you seen anything did you hear anything last night like do you know like did you see anything weird or anything and so she was like no and so he was like okay well make sure like y'all we're going to tell everybody on the street like keep your kids inside for the day because now it's officially a crime scene so she um and then, of course, like, that, we play over there. So, you know, I'm trying to listen to hear anything. You know, he was like, if you hear anything or, if, you know, if your, your daughter or your kids have seen anything, you know, just let us know. So, she was like, okay, yeah, I'll let y'all know. So, I kind of, like, eased back, like, to pretend like I didn't hear what just, you know, what was just said. So, I eased back in my room, like, I'm on my bed, like, pretending like I didn't hear it. So... She um she went back up to her room and then was clip my assumption is she was on the phone because it took her a minute to call me. And so she was on the phone, I guess, assuming, telling people because, you know, like, it didn't take long for stuff to get around our town. Everybody who knew everybody, phone, word of mouth, phone game, something happened. This is what's going on. It wasn't no text messages. It was literally the phone. <laughs> That's how stuff spread. So... But I will say, even with that, like, if there was a death in the family or something like that, people showed up. Because when my grandmother passed away, once it started getting around, people showed up. Cars was everywhere. Food was everywhere. People showed up back then. People showed up. Like, it, it literally was a village. Anyway, so after she had been on the phone for a while, so she called me upstairs to her room. And so she was like, hey, you can't go over there and play today. And so I was like, well, what's going on? Why I can't? Why we can't go over there? Why the police over there? Play your role. <laughs> Play your role. You're going to be a smart person, not necessarily a smart criminal. You let people feed you the information. You don't feed them. <laughs> anyway, so she she was like, they found a body over there down, that, down, that, um, down the dirt road. She was like, have y'all been down there dirt road? And I was like, no. And I was like, we haven't been down there. Like, we've been literally on the basketball court in the swings. And so she was like, did y'all see anybody, you know, come through there? And I was like, we've seen a couple of cars, but not, like, memory-wise, you know, because, again, it's a dirt road. So not only is African-Americans going down there, Caucasians are going down there. Like, any and everybody could use the dirt road. Now, if somebody was coming up and somebody was going down at the same time, one of them had to decide to... <laughs> at, at a certain area you you gotta back up cause both of y'all can't go down at the same time so it was like you know like yeah we seen cars pass but I can't tell you like from memory who was who cause we didn't know who was who was you know what I'm saying like we playing we not really paying attention to who's down there who's passing by and so she was like well you can't go over there today okay so I'm still listening because she's on the phone talking. She's on the phone talking and basically, like, saying, um, you know, telling people, like, all I, all I know is, like, they found a dead body. All I know is they found a dead body. We don't know nothing. We don't know nothing. All I know is they found a dead body. So, it was like, dang. Like, so, it was crazy because she was... S.A., she was naked, and it was a lady. She was a Caucasian lady, and they never found out who it was. So, they it was speculation that, you know, she um somebody dropped her off back there because maybe that they, they thought, like, nobody would. Yeah, 
like go back there to find her i guess maybe they assume like people didn't really use it so they were assuming like um it was somebody from out of town because somebody from out of town wouldn't know that we use like you know the roads are used often like it's busy so somebody was going to find her but yes yeah, she was completely um undressed she was completely naked um she was unalived she was essayed and so and they never found out who did it still a mystery to this day as far as i know um, the runner who we talk to all the time, she ended up finding her because she was doing her daily exercise jogging type situation. So, yeah, that's the story time of the dead body behind the church. I love you the most because you're definitely the dopest in real life. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.